Welcome to yet another video, a graphic tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna build together this transition. Are you ready? Let's roll. A few weeks back, I built another tutorial for a different graphic transition that you can check right here. Actually, you can check the tutorial right here. As you can see, this transition was made of two sliding doors that were opening and closing again. Now, someone asked me, how do we open a transition and make it fade the other way? So making it disappear instead of coming back. That's what we're gonna achieve today together. And we're gonna build a different transition. So step by step through my tutorials, you can actually build a graphic package for your vlogs, videos, or whatever else. So let's get started. I'm so excited today. I don't know if you've noticed, but let's do this. Here we are inside Premiere Pro. So what you have to do is opening the software. And if you want, you can copy the workspace I have built right here. So very simple, project panel open, program and source panel, the tool panel, of course, timeline, essential graphics, and effect controls. As you can see, I have already imported some material, some motocross material of my friend Ale here doing some freestyle motocross, amazing stuff by the way, and I've created a 25 FPS sequence. So I've got two clips literally on my timeline and we're gonna transition from this clip to this jump. That's a huge jump by the way. So let's create the first shape of our transition and we want to create a circle. So we go down in the tool panel and we select the ellipse tool right there. If you don't see it, you want to go in the pen tool and hold on the tiny arrow at the bottom right corner of the icon. Open a new drop down menu and you select ellipse tool. Now you want to go in the program panel, click and then hold shift on the keyboard to create a circle. There it is. Perfect. I like the color because it's matching Alice's suit, the colors of the suit. And if you want to change the color, you just want to go to the essential graphics, select the shape, which is the circle. Actually, we're going to name it pink circle. And you can click here in the appearance, get the color picker, and then you can get the eyedrop and literally select every color you want of the composition but I'm gonna keep it pink for now, so I keep this color. What we wanna do next is to go in Align and Transform, and we're gonna click on the vertical center to align the shape vertically in our frame, and also we do the same with the horizontal center. So now our shape is exactly in the center of the composition. And we're gonna start straight away with the animation. So we wanna go to the effect controls this time, effect controls panel right there. We're gonna go at the beginning of our shape, of our animation on the timeline, and uh, you can do so by using the up arrow on your keyboard. And you wanna maybe select the layer two here in the track targeting. So whenever you press the arrow keys, you make sure that you can go to the beginning or the end of that specific clip on the track number two. And here we are at the beginning of uh, track two of our animation. Now let's go back to the effect controls panel. What you wanna do is to make sure you select the shape, the pink circle, and you open up the drop down menu. We go to its scale and make sure you are at the beginning of the animation once again. So let's create a new keyframe by pressing here on the, um, on the stopwatch. And as you can see, we have a new keyframe on the timeline. What we're gonna do is to type an amount of zero. So our shape is going to disappear because it's zero. That's its size right now. And we're gonna move forward here, 10 frames. You can do so by checking your time code, which is 705 in my case. I'm going to add 10 frames. So I'm going to 715 and that's my new time on the timeline. I create a new keyframe and I'm going to increase the size of the scale until I cover the whole frame of my composition with a circle shape. And I can literally just drag the amount until I cover the whole frame. There it is, perfect. Now we can play the animation, see what happens. 
that's really nice we can improve it by adding some animating effect and we right click on the first keyframe and select is out in this way our transition will enter from a slow pace to a bit faster so it gives a bit of dynamic to the animation and there it is nice now what we're going to do is to duplicate this shape right here so let's go back to the essential graphics panel we're going to right click on the pink circle choose duplicate and now we have just created exactly the same shape with the same animation same color and everything else we're going to change the color of it and we click on the name first and we change the name into white and we're going to go to fill and choose the color white in the fill there it is okay now if we play our animation what you will see is just the white circle because as i mentioned we have exactly the same shape with the same animation on top of the pink one so what we want to do is to go to the effects control panel once again open up the shape the drop down menu and we go to scale and move these two keyframes we're going to move them forward on the timeline five frames just to give to the animation more colors and more interest as well so let's move the second shape five frames forward on the timeline and i can do so again uh, with the time code here i go to 7 10 and i'm literally dragging the keyframes on that on that time of the timeline and i'm gonna play the uh, sequence and see what happens and that's what we have right now so i want to create a third shape exactly the same but with a different color and we're gonna create um, a blue shape this time so let's go back to the essential graphics right click on the white circle for example and duplicate it once again and we're gonna change the name into blue and we're actually going to the field color and i'm personally going to pick the blue of alice suit there it is it's a that's a bit too light maybe i can do something like this and there it is and what i'm going to do this time i'm going back to the effect controls panel once again i open up the menu go to the scale options and from here from the beginning of the second shape the white one i'm going to go forward maybe three frames this time one two and three as simple as that and i'm going to move those keyframes right here and i'm going to play again and see what happens that's really nice cool so we have our transition now what we want to do next is to make the transition disappear and opening up basically and we can do that by creating a mask simply how do we create a mask in this case once more i go to the essential graphics I duplicate the blue circle and just right click on it press duplicate and this time I'm going to name it mask I go to the effect controls make sure you select the shape mask this time here as well and we're gonna move those keyframes once again maybe five frames forward compared to the um, the blue shape the last shape we have created so I go there on the first keyframe I go forward five frames one two three four and five and I just drag these keyframes right there now nothing really happened because we need to turn this shape into the actual mask and we can do that by going to the essential graphics panel for the last time I think and if you go at the very bottom of our essential graphic panel you will see this option that says mask with shape just tick that whoops everything disappeared you can play the animation see what we've done and we only have the last shape which is the mask so what you want to do now is to go in the essential graphics under mask with shape tick invert and now play your animation that's what we want we have created these three circles which are growing into the size of our composition and then our last circle the last shape is actually growing and taking everything away and giving us space for the next video clip so what i'm going to do now is to go on my timeline 
my animation as handed right here after a few frames so I can delete the rest of the animation just by dragging it and I'm gonna move it right here where I have the whole composition covered by the animation I'm going to create a mark with M and now I'm gonna move this exactly on the cut between the two clips which is there. Now if I play the animation I've got the transition working perfectly. And that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did also I've created a huge Adobe Premiere Pro video editing course that you can check on my website and mamoair.com or Udemy and Skillshare. So it's all up to you. Choose the platform you prefer but I hope to see you there because there's really a lot of information. I thank you for watching and once again I hope the video could help you somehow. God bless you. I will see you in the next one. Memories fall up the road